heard about the COVID carnage. There's no other way to describe it. At least 6,600, probably far more of 95,000 skilled nursing facility residents in New York are dead as a result of COVID. Um, when this crisis arose, it was an, uh, there was an <clears throat> understandable focus on preventing infections and deaths, uh, you know, versus protection of, of rights, which people were not really thinking about, or most people were not thinking about initially. But we need to understand that rights for skilled nursing facility residents are inextricably intertwined with both their mental and physical health as with their, their safety. Um, they're often severely, they have severe cognitive and physical impairments, and they're particularly vulnerable to abuse and neglect and exploitation. Uh, this pre-exists COVID. Uh, that's why we have pr programs like the long-term um, care ombuds program, which you're gonna hear about, uh, as well as uh, DOH oversight and enforcement and um, protection and advocacy authority, which my, my office does, Disability Rights New York, to monitor these facilities and investigate allegations of abuse and neglect. Um, now, even prior to COVID, many people considered this oversight uh, inadequate, my, my, myself among them. Um, and that has been severely, severely hampered, further hampered by the COVID restrictions because people just couldn't get in there for a long period of time. Uh, today, we're going to provide an overview of these very important res uh, uh, residents' rights, uh, their enforcement, and we're going to pay particular attention to visitation, visitation rights, um, wrongful discharges, people being dumped out of nursing facilities, uh, and importantly, assistance in returning to the community for those who want to return to the community. <laughs>